Hello there, everybody. So, fresh off of my success of the first video that I posted yesterday, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, red lipstick tutorial that everybody seemed so excited about. So, red lipstick. Um, I've gathered up, not all, <laughs> not all, but several, several, most, most, let's say most, makes me feel better, most of my red lipsticks. See? All right. So um, I have uh, drugstore red lipsticks. So I've got uh, some Revlon and I've got some CoverGirl. And then I've got kind of the mid-range, which would be Urban Decay. I like this tube. It's pretty. And then a little bit more than Urban Decay. It's the Makeup Forever. And this is one of their classic shades called Moulin Rouge. And then I've got um, kind of the really high-end lipsticks um, from Givenchy. Um, this one is a true red, and then this one um, is more of an orange red, and I'll show you all these colors as we get started. I just wanted to, uh, to talk a little bit about red lipstick, um, as if uh, you were sitting on my couch and I weren't just a person on the internet. Ladies, don't be afraid of your red lipstick. I mean, there are a lot of, I mean, the thing that I hear all the time, oh man, I just, I love your red lips, but I could never do that. Bullshit. Let me tell you why. Everybody can wear red lipstick. Everybody can find their shade. It doesn't have to be fire engine red. You can wear a blue red, you can wear an orange red. You can wear a gloss, a sheen, a stain. I mean, there's umpteen ways that you can get away with red. You know, and, and why don't women wear more red lipstick? I mean, why are people afraid of it? All sorts of reasons. Um, are they afraid of the statement that it's gonna make? Because it does make a statement. I mean, I mean, you, you are seen when you have red lipstick. And, uh, you know, maybe that's part of the problem. I mean, a lot of women, shrinking violets, they don't want to be seen. They're scared of the implications of being seen. I mean, I mean, gosh, there's societal, there's, you know, psychological reasons all at play about why people do or don't wear red lipstick. I mean, I'm a ham and I like being seen. I like being the center of, the att uh, center of attention. So red lipstick to me is fun. It's like, <clears throat> yeah, look at this. And I know that that can be scary for a lot of people. So I'm here to tell you as your friend that you don't have to be afraid. You know, if you've never, ever, ever worn a bright color, it will be like, wow, whoa, when you put it on. But to get used to it. And you'll be amazed at what happens to your personality when you do something, you know, so seemingly insignificant as start wearing red lipstick. So with that PSA aside, uh, let's get started. So liner kind of essential with red lipstick. I mean, liner is something that I tend to not really use very often, but um, red lipstick has the tendency to bleed. Uh, it's not sexy. Um, also, if you've got drier skin, drier lips, you're getting older, all of this area needs attention. Um, so you gotta wear your liner. Now you can wear a matchy match liner, so, you know, red. Or you can do what I have learned and preferred to do, is use a clear liner, because you can use it with all of your lipsticks instead of having to buy 18,000 um, matching lip liners. So, let's get started. I think we're gonna do, we're gonna do this Urban Decay one today, okay? So, this Urban Decay, it's uh, shade 69, hey! And it looks like this. And this is a little bit more of a, of a blue red, so to speak. Um, like if I put this on and I've put a uh, like a nude shade on my lips first to kind of get rid of my natural color, it actually comes out almost more berry. Um, and then now this is as opposed to, you know, like this, that is a true red right there. I mean, see, look, you can see the difference between the two. Like more berry, more true. And then I'm just gonna show you all the colors now so that you get a kind of an idea of what I'm talking about here. So this is a, gosh, this is like my favorite lipstick, as you can see, because it's almost gone. Mm, I need a new one. So this is more of um, an orange red. It's kind of hard to see in the camera, but it goes on. I mean, it's bright, but it's, I mean, it's called Magnolia Organza. And I think it's more of like a, like a orangey coral. Also depends on your natural coloring, how that's going to come out. And then here's another true red. This is a Givenchy true red. Oh, it smells so good. Oh gosh, the higher end lipsticks smell like violets and just glory. It's just, oh, it's great. Now, this is uh, Cherries in the Snow. And, you know, this was categorized as red for years and years and years by Revlon. It's not. It's not a red. I don't know what they're talking about. It's fuchsia. It goes on as fuchsia. I mean, look, look at this. Like, 
that that's pink like that no that's not red but I include it because it's a really nice lipstick and it's like five bucks um, and then CoverGirl I really can't really recommend these the color payoff is pretty nice I mean that's a really cool color um, but it feels like you're putting crayons on your lips and nobody no no we don't want crayons on our lips so um, lip brush lip brush essential if you want your lips to be perfect I'm talking like perfect so I'm gonna use the the brush today but you can um, use lipstick straight from the tube but just be gentle don't go like this if you're putting on red lipstick because you'll over apply it'll get out of the lines it's very hard to fix so you know when you're using a brush it takes longer but you'll get the absolutely perfect red lip um, that you're going for so I'm going to also use my clear today um, and when you're doing I'm gonna use my mirror so when you're doing clear liner start at the bottom and you're gonna wanna just outline just like this don't go outside of your natural lip line nobody likes that it's not sexy it's just not it's not um, then do your cupid's bow first so da, da, da. and I kinda go partially down from my cupid's bow and then I go from here to the top I don't know why I think it was because a makeup artist a million years ago told me that it makes your lips look fuller without having to do the crazy outside your lip line so I don't go down I just go up experiment see which one works better for you so I go up now if you were using a red lip liner, you can fill in your lips if you want it to last a really long time. I don't really do that with the clear liner. You could, but I, I just don't. So, okay, I said we were going to use the, you know, instead of this Urban Decay, I'm going to use one of the true reds. So this is the, um, this is the Moulin Rouge from uh, Makeup Forever. And now that I've lined my lips, so when you're using a lip brush, you just go like this, okay, and get it, get the product on your brush and then I start on the bottom lip you can start with either one I like the bottom first because it's a little bit easier and then start in the middle and then just you know follow the natural line of your lip and then when it starts to uh, be hard to smooth on just get a little bit more on your brush. All right. Don't screw up like I just did. If you do, use your nail. Go like that. And then kind of, you know, mush it. Lovely so far, isn't it? And then um, get some more on your brush. Cupid's bow is my favorite part because it's fun. Um, all right, so then start at the cupid's bow. Go down. It's not gonna look perfect right now, by the way. Just FYI, We're, we'll get there. Don't worry. Um, start your cupid's bow. Kind of draw your outline and then fill in. I make funny faces when I'm doing this, so if I'm like squinting one eye like a pirate, it's just what I do. All right, now, once you got that outline, smooth it down. It's not gonna be quite enough. So get a little bit more on your brush. And like perfect your lines as you're going. If you do mess up and you get outside of the line, uh, you can go afterwards and use a Q-tip with a little bit of makeup remover and kind of dab it, um, and it'll it'll come off. It's kind of like painting your nails, you know. You don't want to, you know. At the end, you can go back and clean it up. Yeah. 
So, this is your first layer. Um, it's not perfect yet. Notice. So, what you do is get a handy dandy tissue and get your little uh, tissue kisses, just like in Mad Men. All right. Now, you've blotted, and now you're gonna go back over. This helps to kind of keep it in place, you know, give you the most, you know, color payoff. So just kind of go back in, in little strokes. And perfect any either mistakes or spots you missed the first time. You know, when you're going for a look like this, your lips are the main look. Now, I don't believe in makeup rules like you must have a neutral eye if you have a, you know, bold lip. But if you do like red lips and lots of smoky eye, it will probably be a bit too much. Um, depends on the occasion. If you're a goth girl, go for it. But um, in general, you're going to want to keep it a little bit more neutral in the eyes than you do with the lips if you're going for a bold move, bold look. So this is just filling in and perfecting. All right, now you can do this. I don't always do this because I think it's a little bit gross, but you can go and it, you know, prevents it from getting on your teeth. So, I mean, that's really all you do for a red lip. You know, you just, you want to make it as perfect as you can following your natural lip line. And then when you're done, blot again. So, you don't have to, I just, usually for my second blot, I just go like this. Oh, I love you all, my people. Okay, see, red lips. Now, you know, picking a shade. There's cool reds, this is more of a cool red. There's warm reds. So, you know, if you know what your skin tone is, I mean, that's one way that you can go about picking a red. But my, my, my advice is to get a true red, I mean, this is a true red. Get one of those and just go for it, you know? And once you've, once you've mastered, you know, wearing a red lipstick with your personality, you can branch out and, uh, and go for different shades. Um, but it's, it's really mental first. You've got to just grab yourself by whatever appendages help you motivate yourself it's really hard to say as a woman, I was gonna say, you know, vagina up, there we go, and just do it. Because if you don't do it, you'll never know if you can. And I mean, I'm saying you can, you can. It's just, it's a, it's a personal thing where you've just gotta get the cojones and put the red lipstick on your lips and sally forth into the world. You will get more attention. If you're uncomfortable with that, it happens, you know? You're gonna have these gorgeous lips. Go for it, you know, get the attention and that you deserve. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, best of luck, let me know if you have any questions. And um